President Xi says China and the U.S. share broad interests and should work together to improve the international system. He adds that the China-led Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank will complement other multilateral development banks as China feels duty-bound to make greater contributions to international development. Xi says China wishes to join with the U.S. in tackling regional and global issues. He says the country calls for political settlement for relevant issues through peaceful negotiation. He adds that China opposes arbitrary interference in other countries' internal affairs. Xi believes that the two countries gain from cooperation and lose from confrontation in the fields of cybersecurity and the South China Sea. Building a new model for major country relationships featuring non-confrontational aspects, mutual respect and win-win cooperation was a strategic decision made by the two leaders. Xi confirms that China has always pursued a defense policy that is defensive in nature and is not going after some kind of military adventure. Xi said that the Asia-Pacific should be a ground for enhanced China-U.S. coordination and collaboration, not their coliseum for supremacy. Xi also tells the Wall Street Journal that China's economic slowdown and market volatility will not stop the necessary reforms. He says China's economy faces downward pressure but is still operating with the proper range. The president says developing capital market is a key reform and it will not change because of current market volatility. Chinese President Xi Jinping says the recent unusual fluctuations in the Chinese stock market were mainly the result of previous rapid surges and big fluctuations in the international market. He says the Chinese government has taken some measures to defuse systematic risks. Such steps have proved successful. She also says reforms of the yuan exchange rate will continue and there is no basis for sustained depreciation. Xi Jinping says China respects the international business practice of non-discrimination and has fulfilled its national treatment and other commitments upon WTO accession. His written answers also touches upon Chinese dream, internet access restrictions, as well as anti-corruption in China. Fang Tongxuan, CCTV.